And here we are nearly 12 hours after the explosion. We still have a very active scene out here. The house, of course, is leveled. 12 other homes damaged, 12 families displaced, some so badly that those homeowners do have to move out. We just have the fire truck that pulled up within the last few minutes here, so we're not sure exactly what's happening with that. Uh, but, of course, they remain on the scene, still looking, investigating, and possibly putting out hot spots. Now, this all started around 645 this morning with a call to report the smell of gas. Officials say BGE got on the scene to investigate, and that's when the explosion happened. A contractor with BGE was killed, one neighbor injured, but she is okay. And just a short time ago, fire officials confirmed they found the body of the homeowner, a 73-year-old man who was wheelchair-bound in the rubble. They're still investigating what caused the blast, but neighbors were awakened by what they say sounded like a bomb. One came outside and saw a BGE worker in the aftermath. He screamed to me, I can't find my, my partner or whatever he said at the time. Uh, my, my partner, yeah, I think he said partner, I think at the time. And I said, you all right? He said, yeah, I'm all right. And then uh, he just sat down by the tree and then the fire truck pulled up the front door. I actually went through this above the house next door and landed in our backyard. And again, everything shattered uh, in the backyard and inside the house. Um, but we're lucky because the force of the explosion kind of went just to the right of us. Now, the company that employed the deceased worker sent us a statement saying, we are saddened by this tragic loss of our friend and employee. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends at this most difficult time. Now, crews say they will be out here through the night and again into tomorrow just investigating what caused this blast and sifting through the rubble. Reporting live in Bel Air, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.